I'm not uh, not I'm not happy with my Linux Mint, and that's okay because every now and then things happen. But there's some awful, really slow stuff. It's kind of like um. It's kind of like when things are are running, they seem to be running okay. But it's just so slow. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what happened. So, um, let's see here. So last week I did this. I thought for sure this is going to solve my problem. So I upgraded my slow computer to Zara. And it seemed to, like right away, everything was working fine again. Um, I got the audio. The audio was a big thing. Like all of a sudden, I had no no microphone. But it wasn't really all of a sudden, because I only record with the microphone once a week, and so I could go an entire week without even noticing. And then if I don't pick up the the, the video to edit, it might even go ten days, twelve days. So this could have been a while. So I did the unthinkable, something I thought I'd never do with Linux Mint. I went here and I uh, I went on the system snapshots. I'm walking you through the whole thing so that if I make a mistake and somebody notices I've made a mistake, you can help me through this. And the other thing is, I, if I'm if I made a mistake, I want you to see it firsthand. So this one back here, twenty five ten six. I know this was good because I was doing work after that that everything was fine. So somewhere between the sixth of October and the day that I created that past video, those are best of time something weird happened in there so uh, last night i i uh went to restore onto this screen and it says select the target and that was the target and uh i i went through the process and again everything was good it seemed good was it fast? Well, I click on something and within a few seconds it was up and running. So everything seemed to be fast. Not sure. Not sure. Because this morning when I sit down in my usual Saturday morning ritual, it didn't, uh, took forever. Like 25 minutes for me to be sitting down to this point. That's, that's too long. So I don't know what did it. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at a few other things. I was looking at my, um, this screen. So this screen here is, is, um, what do they call that? The system monitor. And here on the system monitor, it's showing you the applications that are open, running, and where they're, using uh, using all your resources right and so there's things here that I haven't never seen before like this one here CDS housekeeping and when I hover over it it says user bin CSD housekeeping. And right now it's running at zero, but of course everything seems to be working okay. But I don't know what this thing does. So CSD uh, CSD housekeeping. Let's so I'm going to do this. See, see my little thing there. So, and, and this, this, 
to me this is fast it, it booted up pretty good so i'm going to type csd housekeeping i just have a feeling that this is uh this might be the thing the thing that's slowing my system down i don't know where it came from don't know how i got it on on there i talk a lot about linux mint being kind of you don't you don't get hacked well i don't know if this is a hack but it sure feels like a hack sometimes i feel like a hack <laughs> the term csd housekeeping can refer to different concepts depending on the context the context of software and operating systems particularly within linux distributions such as arc linux and debian CSD housekeeping refers to a component of the Cinnamon desktop environment setting daemon. This daemon, known as the Cinnamon settings daemon, manages various session settings, including the cleanup of unused files, is responsible for housekeeping tasks related to the desktop environment, such as managing background settings, keyboard layouts, clipboard functions, and other system level configurations. So this um uh, this sounds like it's supposed to be there it's always been there and uh let's go oh, here on github it says cinnamon settings demon plugins housekeeping uh there's more about it freezing of tasks failed after 20 seconds And there's a few other things. So I don't, I don't think that's what's causing my problem. Maybe it is, but it, it just doesn't make sense to me because, uh, well, that's, that's slow. Another program I, I use quite a bit, uh, Caden Live. I'm going to open that up. We'll see how fast it goes. I just clicked on it. Usually, uh, Usually it takes about eight seconds to open up. It's not opening as fast as I want it to. Did it just pop up? It just popped up. So if I could isolate it to one piece of software, that would be easy. Fix that piece of software. But it's not. It's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I, if anybody's got answers that could help me, I'd, I'd appreciate that. But I don't know what else um, I can do except go through a few things that perhaps perhaps would help. This thing should be fully open. I should be, you know, three minutes into editing by now. So that's not that's not going very good. And if I'm looking over here at my, I'm not even seeing it show up. There, Caden Life finally popped up. Oh, look at there it is. It's, it's showing something's happening there. That's crazy. That's a crazy long time to open up. So I'm not thrilled with uh, not thrilled with that. So the other thing I'm going to look at is is my software manager because. So a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded this one. Yeah. So I installed Linux Mint. Now what? And here's what one thing I can think of. One thing is that when I was doing that, I got onto the software. And over on the software, I was talking about Caden Light. So, it's here somewhere. Right there, this one here. You see it says it's installed? And I've got two of them installed. And I don't know which one I installed again. Now i got to go back and look at it. Oh, i got to go look at it. Which one did I install? 
recently install, right? So this one here is a flat hub. So let's uninstall that one. Right? Yeah, let's remove that one. I don't know what I'm doing, do I? If it looks like I don't know what I'm doing, it's because I'm willing to take the chance of making the mistake of doing something that could be irreversible. And so I'm not exactly sure. But like if I really want to know, then maybe I should uh, have a look at that video. Let's see if we can boot that video up. There it is there. I don't know if you guys can hear that audio or not. That's awesome. Congratulations. So there it is. So there it is. I'm, just, I'm just going to uh, release it. scream along, scream along until I find what shower. I'm looking for. Forward. And right there. Right there. Oh, I just, oh, had, I just had it. Live. So, so I had the, I had, the, I had that before. one before. And then, and I, then installed I installed that, that new one. Um, Wow. All right. All right. Maybe that's Maybe what, that's what I'm going to do so, now. So, so I had that, so one, I had that one, this one. This one. So this one, so here, this one here. Let's remove, let's remove it. it. I'm going to do that, I'm gonna do that without even thinking it. about it now. I'm just, just remove Just remove <laughs> Just, get, <laughs> just out get, out get it out of there. Um, um, because, because I can't explain, I can't explain what, what it could be doing, why why it is, but Maybe having, maybe having two of the same, of the same software, software installed, installed um, um, will, will cause, cause something, something kind of kind of conflict. Okay, and so and let's that's all done. Okay, uh, it's hard to tell. It's really hard hard to tell if this that started up fast. I just clicked on it and it up it came. And that's fast. Like that's that's as fast as I've ever ever had it performing. I I can't wait to do something with it. That's I'm surprised. So does that tell me I solved the problem? Y yes, maybe. Don't know for sure. Don't know. I mean, it means that I did have things running in the background. Maybe. Does it stay there? I'm not sure. So I'm looking at what might be running in the background. So the only thing running in the background here is well, OBS is running. Uh, Arian webcam is running. Yes, Cinnamon, of course, that's my desktop. System monitor, which I just turned on. Uh, Pipewire. Pipewire. Pipewire's audio. Um, is, an, is an audio engine and that's what started the whole the whole thing even from the last week's episode that I had no microphone microphone was done I had to do a complete voiceover it was crazy um, and that's what triggered me to do the update to 22.2 which now I've done undone oh man so I did it and uh, it looked like it solved it probably right up until the time I started at Caden Live. And then it went slow again because Caden Live is trying to run two instances in, in one. It doesn't work out that way, I don't think. Uh, so now I've got like next to nothing running. And that's that sounds pretty good. Did I solve it? I don't know. But... See, but the truth is, is that you have to be aware of what you're doing to it. Every time that you're adding a piece of software or an app or, you know, changing something in the settings, that it could have ramifications further down the line. 
right? Um, mind you, uh, it looks like all my all my issues are solved. Um, I think I'm going to upgrade again to uh, 22.2 uh, Zara, but this is this has been interesting, very interesting. For a minute, I thought it was hacked. I wasn't hacked, thank God. And if I was hacked, it was me that was hacking. Does that make sense? Well, I can't explain why everything's running well. Well, I can't explain. I can't explain why everything was not running well. But if this solves the problem, I'm going to take that as a win for now. If anybody out there watching this knows more about this than me, let me know what 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 happened. Why did I experience this terribly slow uh, system, which I'm not experiencing now? And uh, I'm going to do one quick reboot. Just hold on right there. And we're back. And that only took a couple of seconds. Honestly, it really, uh, we turned off, turned on, and everything seems to be uh, running good. Just on a lark. I'm going to start up uh, my browser and see how fast that kicks in. So my browser shows up good. Um, this is my Chromium browser. Uh, I use it for all of my Google related things. But uh, that's it. Everything looks. Everything is awesome. Uh, that's great. Okay, uh, that's gonna do it then. I, I think I solved the problem. I'll let you know if I if I don't. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, bookmark this this page because I'm gonna do the Zara upgrade, and you'll see it from start to finish, unedited. I hope. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hooked on Linux.